Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy with an Inspire 1 2 Titan batteries. Um, these are uh, 3.5 amp hours, 22.2 volts, and 120 watts. What I'm going to do is just hook this up and do a test. I have a serial cable. What we're doing is running a backpack clip off a this is a TB47 even though it's black and you can see it's full charged alright now I'm gonna set up these Titans on a clip that was designed by me give me a few seconds here velcro them on now this is just to test voltage flow right now and I'll be doing some testing with them. Spin the bird around. The whole purpose is to try to gain a little bit more time. I'm hoping for the 2530 range, if not more. These are 18650 cells here that Titan is producing. This is the smallest packs they make at 22 volts. So I figured I would try those. Alright, so the two Titan batteries are on. Alright, it's on the bracket. What we do first is let's turn on the controller. I'm just going to hook up the Y cable here for the two Titans. Like I said, this is a serial, not a parallel. Alright, now you don't want to do anything until this battery is up and the bird is booted, and then you would add the auxiliary batteries. Alright, uh, the Inspire is an older bird. I can turn it on right now. So when it comes to the Go app, you have to disconnect it, plug it in, sorry about that. When it comes to an Android device, it'll ask you which one, I'm just going to say just once. It should boot up. Alright, everything's working okay. Hit the, I'm not hitting camera, I hit learn more. There we go. Alright, so I'm inside, so it's going to do some weird calibration problems with the compass because I'm inside the house. Um, right now, even though that battery is brand new, it's only showing me um, the 92%. So, but that's the first charge that this has ever had um, see zero charged okay it says battery life 100 percent so now that everything is booted up we'll look at the numbers 2496 97 the cells are 4.16 the whole idea with these auxiliary packs you gotta keep them lower than the 4.16 otherwise they'll start charging the battery alright <clears throat> so let's plug in the auxiliary batteries Alright, see if anything changes down here. We've got 2478, 4.13, 4.12s. The milliamp hours <coughs> have increased to 41. Alright, critical alarm, all that will keep the same. Alright, I have a compass error because I'm inside, so I don't think it'll start up. Yeah, it's got a bad compass error because I'm inside. All 
and it keeps blinking in and out so it needs to calibrate and all that we just close the window again I wish I could fire it up okay there's the motors it finally got into addy mode I'm not running any props Just watching the batteries. Let's see if it's adjusting for a time. It's not picking up a time because we're not actually flying. Back to the batteries. What I'm also looking for, too, is right here to feel the temperature. This is 10 mil copper for the least resistance instead of brass. You gotta keep an eye on that. Of course these motors are not on the load. Okay, I'm full throttle. Feel the Titan batteries. They're ice cold. Wiring's ice cold. Bad the cell life is showing 4.9, 410, 24, 5, 6 volts. Temperature is 23.6 Celsius. Let me let off. And we'll shut it off. Okay, so the milliamps are 4050 back up to 411 and 412 the voltage is 2467 let's try it again we got that compass error again because I'm inside okay even with the compass error I got it to come on oh, shut down compass error and that old crash -o. If I had the props on. But, anyways, this is just a quick test to make sure everything works and functions properly. And if you do have this setup, what you need to do is you want to disconnect the backpack batteries first and then shut your drone off and your radio. And this is Cruise Roy and the test was successful. We'll be doing some flight tests soon and I'm out of here.